Hi, this is Aaron. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on programming one of the Paragon kilns. I'll note that there are two types of Paragons. The one we're looking at here is a Paragon Dragon. If you look at that plate in the upper left, it says it's a Paragon Dragon. This is the black kiln. The Paragon Iguana is the blue kiln. Both of these kilns use a Sentry 2.0 microprocessor attached to the side of the kiln, and that's what we're going to be looking at today, but I do want to make that distinction that the type of kiln is the Paragon Dragon and the type of program uh, controller is Sentry 2.0. So let's start taking a look at the controller. The Sentry 2.0 is the standard controller that's on all the Paragon kilns. We're going to start by turning it on. When you turn the power switch on, it should make a loud beeping sound for a few seconds. If that doesn't happen, you need to make sure that you check the power switch on the wall or the breaker that might be connected to your kiln. When you first turn it on, you should see that it's idling. And what we're going to do today is program a simple uh, BISC Fire program. The programs that we use on these kilns are ramp hold programs. If you look at the number four, it indicates ramp hold. A ramp hold program is a program that controls how fast the temperature increases, a target temperature that it's going to work toward, and then how long it's going to hold at that temperature. And those three parts of each phase of a ramp hold program can be repeated in as many phases as necessary to get the results that you need. Now there are a number of programs that are available and you can certainly modify the programs as needed, um, but a few of the programs that are commonly put into the FCPS kilns are available on Blackboard. Just let somebody know in the Fine Arts Office know if uh, you need help finding those. So we're going to look at entering the BISC fire program that I would put into the standard elementary kiln. We're going to start by indicating that we want to put that ramp hold program in. So we're going to push number four. You'll see that it then starts prompting you for the user number. We do want to put our BISC fire program as user one, which is selected already. But if it wasn't, you just hit the number one and then hit enter. Now it's prompting for RA1, that's the ramp. The ramp is how fast you want the kiln to heat up. We're going to ask the kiln to heat up at 150 degrees per hour. It's a pretty slow increase in temperature. You'd be pretty upset if the oven in your kitchen heated up at that rate because it'd take a long time to get ready to cook dinner. Now it's asking for F1, that's the target temperature that we're going for, and we're only going to heat up to 175 degrees, which is just warm. We're going to hold at 175 degrees for an hour. That's going to allow holding that warm temperature with the greenware that's in the kiln to make sure that it's completely dry. The next phase is phase two, so it's asking for ramp two. We're going to enter 200 degrees, so that's how fast we want the kiln to increase in temperature, 200 degrees per hour. We're going to have it increase at that rate until it reaches 212 degrees, the boiling point. That's going to help make sure that all of the water is really fully pushed out of the clay. We're going to hold at that boiling point for one hour. You can see that this program is working gradually to make sure that we don't have uh, explosions or problems with the clay, to make sure that it's dry, make sure that all water is forced out of it. Now we're to ramp three, and we're going to increase in temperature by 400 degrees an hour, a little bit faster, and we're going to go for a target temperature of 1,850 degrees, and that's going to be my target temperature for this bisque fire. We only need to hold at this target temperature for a few minutes before it can start cooling off, so I'm going to put it in as one-tenth of an hour. That should be about six minutes. Now I'm to ramp four. Now I like to actually step it down before just shutting it off from the target temperature. So my ramp 4, I'm going to allow to be full, which means the, the program will allow the kiln to cool down as fast as it wants. Anytime you want to put in 
ramp full, you type in 9999. That's whether it's increasing at full speed or cooling at the full speed that it will allow. Our target temperature for phase four of this program is going to be 1000 degrees. And then we're going to hold that temperature again just for a few minutes, one tenth of an hour. And then it shows ramp five, and we want ramp five for this program to be zero. It displays zero right now, so I hit enter again. Now it shows idle, and if I hit enter start one more time, it'll display STRT, which means it's going to start. It does take a few seconds for the Paragon kilns to actually start in a way that you can notice. You'll see that it took several seconds there for it to click on. Let me point out on this side of the display that there are three lights. These represent the three different elements in the kiln, one at the top, middle, and bottom. When those lights are illuminated, those elements are firing, and when the lights are off, the elements are not firing. You remember that this program that we've just put in first heats the kiln at 150 degrees per hour, so it wants to heat it up very slowly. So it turns on the elements just for a second and then shuts them off again, and it's using a thermocouple to check the temperature inside and to see how much that temperature has changed, and then it'll repeat. So that's what you're going to see happening in the case of a bisque fire. I'm going to go ahead and stop this. I want to point out also that now that we know we were last using the BISC program, because that's what we were just using, when I walk up to my kiln or load it up and I'm ready to use it, if I'm certain that I know what the last program was that was used, I can just walk up and hit start. And it should start that same program that was used last time. There we go. Now let me stop that. I'm going to show you very quickly how it looks different when we do a glaze program. The glaze programs are designed to go ramp full, um, which means that it'll increase the temperature in the kiln as fast as it can. So if I select ramp hold program by hitting 4, select user 2 on this kiln, the, the glaze fire has already been programmed into user 2. I hit enter and you'll see ramp 1 is full and it's going to 1200 degrees holding for a few minutes and then ramp full to 1850. This is a low fire glaze holding just for a few minutes. Ramp 3 is ramp full down to a thousand holding just for a few minutes and then turning off. So if I hit start on this one you'll see that those three lights representing the three elements will turn on after a few seconds and rather than clicking on and off like they did for the bisque fire they will turn on and stay on. That's ramp full in action. Turning all the elements on full power to allow the kiln to heat at as fast a, temp a speed as it can. Always remember to make sure your exhaust vents on. Um, make sure that when you are not going to be firing your kiln for some time you power it off. Um, and you can make arrangements or agreements at your school about when you might also turn the breakers on the wall off. I know I always turn them off during extended breaks uh, in the winter, spring, and summer, um, but that's up to you uh, as well. Uh, please let us know in the Fine Arts Office if you have any questions about kiln programming.